Well, it is the final face-off tonight for the two men looking to replace longtime Massachusetts Senator John Kerry. In about two hours, Democrat Ed Markey and Republican Gabriel Gomez will square off in their final debate before the special U.S. Senate election. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson joins us from our newsroom now with a closer look at the candidates. The Massachusetts U.S. Senate special election is just a week away, and before two of the candidates square off in their final debate, we've got a breakdown of their matchup. It's a face-off of polar opposites in the Massachusetts special U.S. Senate election to replace John Kerry. On one side, the Republican Gabriel Gomez, the son of Colombian immigrants and a former Navy SEAL. I've lived the American dream. I've had a lot of opportunities, but I've earned everything I've done. Gomez may be a political newcomer, but he hasn't pulled any punches when it comes to his opponent, Democrat Ed Markey. He's trying to scare people, trying to make them think that I'm somebody I'm not. Gomez has called Markey an entrenched Washington insider. The longtime Democratic congressman served in the House of Representatives for more than three decades. Markey says Gomez is just pushing the same conservative party agenda. Promoting the stalest old Republican ideas. The bitter battle is the result of a closely contested race in what is typically considered a blue state. Markey maintains a double-digit lead in a recent Boston Globe poll, a lead that has since widened after he got a key endorsement from President Obama last week. Markey says the endorsement wasn't made in response to the close polling numbers. Just the opposite. Um, my opponent, Gabriel Gomez, he had John McCain in. He had uh, Rudy Giuliani. In. The Democrats are hoping to avoid a repeat of 2010 when favored Martha Coakley was upset by Republican Scott Brown. And when you head to the polls, Markey and Gomez won't be the only two names you'll see. Richard Hios of the 12 Visions Party will also be listed on the ballot. That special election is set for June 25. In the newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.